Jeez Louise! How's it going, everybody? My name is Al, and welcome to the Nerd Room. Today we're playing The Return of the Obra Dinn. So this is a game I had on the back burner for a while. I think it came out maybe two years ago, something like that. And it just really looked interesting to me. So this is a game by Lucas Pope, as you can see down the bottom left there. And that's the guy who created Papers, Please. And basically, the point of this game is that a ship that was previously thought to be lost has, like, drifted into harbor with its crew completely missing. And your task is to uh, go onto the ship and document exactly what happened to the crew. And so you have a basically a list of crew members and a little stopwatch that lets you relive their last moments. And that just sounded like a really interesting concept to me. So I will say this game is all about, like, figuring out a mystery and everything. So, if you were planning on playing this game at some point in the future, turn around now. For those of you who have already played it or just don't care, welcome! Let us dive in and figure out what happened to the Obra Dinn. Or rather, what happened on the Obra Dinn. Lost at Sea, 1803. The good ship Obra Dinn. Built in 1796, London. 800 tons, 18 foot drought. Captain R. Whitrell, crew 51 men. Last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous... What is that last word? Un... Cape Rendezvous unmet. Okay, so that probably means it didn't make it to the rendezvous. Attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims London Office. The Oberdin has returned dispatch to Falmouth immediately... Oh, has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Very well. Falmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Oh. Sorry. Said you'd need ferry to the Obrad Inn. That would be that would be lovely, thank you. Not many eager for that job. Oh. Okay, why's that? Seems a bit late if you ask. <laughs> okay. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> What's in the box? I don't know. I'll hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Okay. Oh, here we go. All right, we're playing. Let's go. Wow. I gotta say, I'm liking the uh, art direction of this game. It looks really cool. Oh. Well, I guess we found our first crewmate. So what do I do about this? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, that's locked. Huh. So what do we do with you? Oi! Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> what the frick, buddy? Jeez, don't scare me like that. I'm looking at a corpse right now. It's like, jeez, what's the issue? It's too... Oh, wait. It's too heavy. Am I supposed to help him hoist that thing up? And by that thing, I mean the boat he's in. One sec here, let me... Go back down. Am I supposed to do something with you? It's too heavy! Oh, I'm working on it. Yourself. Oh, boy. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, I guessed right. I'm supposed to lift it. Uh... It's too heavy. Okay. Take it yourself or open it here. Oh, the box. Okay, there we go. So, that's probably the list of crew members, I would assume. And I believe that's the stopwatch behind it. Return of the Oberdin, a catalogue of adventure and tragedy. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the pages of this book. Regret regrettably, failing health has allowed me uh, to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but have elected to keep them private for now. Henry Evans. Okay. 
All right, Atlantic Lake of the Far East route and the ship. Okay, so that's just a map of where it was going and a map of the ship. Okay. Ah, here we go. Com uh, complete crew and passenger manifest. Okay, so there are 60 crewmen, and I have to figure out how each and every one of them died. Sketches from aboard the Obert. Oh, okay, and I can probably use this to identify people. Okay, so I can press triangle to open and close the book, and square to look at the table of contents. Perfect. And there's the pocket watch. Memento mortem. Remember death. Okay, now that I have that, I can probably investigate the body over here. Yep, here we go, so... There we go, perfect! Now, let's see what happened. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in! Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Oh. Well, I think I know how this gentleman died. <laughs> That's a fairly easy one. So yeah, it sounds like maybe there was a mutiny going on or something. Ooh, jeez. Oi, that's a lot of blood. Ay ay ay. He went like, oh, he went like straight out the back of the neck. Oh. Okay, now let's see. Who the heck is this guy? Oh, Boy, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. Oh! Oh, I just realized! Oh, the bullet also went through his hand! Yeesh! Oh, that is nasty! Oh! It took out, like, his entire index finger. Oh. Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, that's the- that's probably the murder weapon. Location of the corpse. Okay, now it's giving me all the information. Who is this, and how did they die? Three others were present. The corpse was just outside the captain's deck. And that's all, that's all the information I got. This unknown soul- Well, his fate is far from unknown. Eaten? One of the options is eaten. Oh no. Oh no, that does not bode well. Okay, here we go. He was shot. Uh, with a gun. So yeah, that's pretty easy. Uh, and he was shot by the captain, which means that that was Robert Witterell. And now I need to figure out who the heck this guy is. Three others were present. Oh, boy. Oh, okay, so it shows the three others that were present. <laughs> that doesn't really help me, though, because I don't know who these guys are either. Let's see, who are... Oh, this person's face appears to be blurred throughout the book. Okay. The, this blurring indicates that you don't have, uh, yet have sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Well, yeah, I already did that. Uh, trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay, so... So yeah, I don't have enough information to actually identify them yet. Oh, okay, and I bet going through that door will take me out of this memory, so... Let's see, can I go into the captain's office? Eh. Nope, no, I cannot, okay. See anything up here? Oh! Oh, okay, I didn't see you before, who are you? I don't know why I'm- <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking the uh, freaking apparition who they are. They literally can't move. And, uh, this all happened in the past, so I can't exactly have a conversation with them. <laughs> can I go in here? Nope, okay, I can't- So I can't interact with stuff in the memory, I can just walk around and view things. Okay, let's, uh, leave the memory and see if there's anything, uh, back in the real world that we can use to see who this poor bastard was. Oh! Oh, there's another body! Okay, is this the captain? Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Ooh. Oh! 
Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, then. Okay, so that went straight through the guy's neck. Ay, ay, ay. Guy's not wearing the same outfit, so I doubt this is the captain. I'm willing to bet that this is the guy, like the guy holding the knife here is the guy I saw uh, walking up the, uh, walking up the stairs earlier. Huh. Oh, what the frick? Hello? Oh, never mind, this is the guy. Okay, who is this and how did they die? Okay, well, once again, how they died, I can very easily identify. <laughs> uh, knifed. Okay, yeah, just knifed. Okay, I don't have to put, uh, throat was slit, specifically. Struct. Torn apart? Oh no, come on! What the heck else am I gonna see in this game? Froze, oh dear. Exploded. What the heck? Expired? What the heck's that mean? Doesn't expired in the case of human life just mean they died? <laughs> Alright, well, regardless, we know he was knifed, but I have no idea by who. Let's see, can we find any other information in here or no? Alright, there's the captain's gun, or at least I assume it's the captain's gun. Anything out here? Oh no, that's the guy that got shot earlier. So yeah, one of these two must be the captain then. Oh! Oh, and I didn't even notice that. The guy who, uh, slit this guy's throat took a bit of a shot to the shoulder from a spear. Let's see, can I, can I go back into the memory before to see what the captain was wearing? Because I'm, I'm fairly certain that, uh, oh yeah, I can zoom. Yeah, I know that. Oh. Oh, and it highlighted. Oh! Okay. So that just lets me see where they are in the picture, I guess? Oh yeah, there he is back there. Okay, so the guy who did the 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 slitting is the dude in the picture wearing the tricorn. So is he the captain? All right. Well, let's leave the memory again and uh and see if we can't find some more information. Okay, there's another corpse. Let's see what this guy has to tell us. <laughs> Okay, so that's definitely the guy who has throat- oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> wow, that did some damage. Are those supposed to be- I'm not sure if that's meant to be blood or skull fragments. Either way, it's not pretty. Oh. Okay, and this guy's got a knife, like, right in his ribs. Yeesh. So I can only assume that this right here in front of me is, uh, is Captain Witterill. Oh boy, but I don't have much more than that. The captain is really the only, uh, person I actually know for certain in this scenario. Okay, I'm assuming the who is this and how did they die is the guy who's currently getting smashed over the head with the spear. So, would that be clubbed, then? Yeah, I, I assume when they say speared, they mean actually, like, stabbed with a spear rather than hit with the, uh, handle of it. So I'm guessing it would fall under clubbed. Yeah, I, I, I can probably just come back and change this later. So yeah, we'll, we'll put in the captain for now, since he's the only person that I really, that I really know. And yeah, no real dialogue in that one, since it was literally just a guy choking on his own blood and then getting... And then another guy getting stabbed. Oh, hello, what's this? Oh, okay, there's somebody sleeping here. Who the heck are you now? Okay, so let's see. Open the book while examining the face to flip directly to the sketch. Okay. Uh, hmm. Okay, so yeah, this'll help me just, if I find a body, I can be like, okay, this is John Doe, and then I can use that information to figure stuff out later, I guess. Oh, jeez, I didn't even notice this! Oh no, who is that poor bastard now? Oh! Okay, they're not just hanging him, they're freaking shooting him! Come on, people! Like, really? Oh, okay, that's why they're shooting him. He's not actually getting hung. He's like, strung up with the rope behind his back. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified. 
Use the book and the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book Maps, Crew Manifest, and Artist Sketches, page 2 through 4, along with the individual conversations logs to find clues about their... Okay. Okay, to find clues. There were 60 people on the ship when it left England. Determining everyone's identity and fate will not be easy. Yeah, you're telling me. Decisive information is rare. So yeah, there's gonna be a little guesswork probably. You will have to make assumptions using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Oh uh, yeah, thanks a lot, <laughs> Mr. Pope. Okay, so... Uh, my process of elimination here is the fact that he's wearing a cool hat, and therefore he's the captain. <laughs> I mean, he was straight up in the captain's cabin, right? Like, that's gotta be Mr. Witterell. Okay, yeah, you can definitely see the difference between a... Uh, a blurred face and a not blurred face. So yeah, the only person we really have like <laughs> Sort of decisive information on is the captain. I guess I need some more information. So let's See if we can't find find any other corpses. The captain's body isn't here. So I can only assume that he survived that stab to the to the side. Oh no <laughs> Oh, no, but whoever was sleeping here didn't. All right, let's see what happened. Mark. Okay, so there must be a storm going on. Oh, oh no! Oh, okay. Well, I think I know where Eaton will fall into place. Oh no! I got attacked by a freaking Kraken! Holy crap! Oh! Jeez Louise, this is why I don't like the freaking water, or at least being out in the open sea. Like, granted, Krakens don't actually exist, so far as we know. But still, there are other very large, very scary things in the water. <laughs> Okay, the corpses move post-mortem. Yeah. Who is this and how did they die? Would that fall under clubbed? <laughs> Cause yeah, the Kraken looks like it straight up like swung that mast like right at this person's head. Struck. Hooves, tail, wing. Hooves, tail, and wings? What? What the heck other monsters am I gonna find on this? Okay, so yeah, Struck didn't give me anything with uh, a Kraken swinging a giant uh, wooden beam at somebody. So I would assume it would fall under clubbed? Let's see, what's in Crushed? Beast, cannon, cargo, rigging, and stones. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and say clubbed because the woman in the bed was uh, pretty intact and crushed to me implies that they would have much smaller dimensions by the end of the process. So yeah, clubbed. By an unknown attacker. You know, yeah, we know the attacker, <laughs> given that he seems to be a few hundred meters long. The beast. Let's see, let's head back into the memory and see. Oh dear. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that would uh, scare the ever-loving shit out of me too. Oh boy, just keep it together, man. Keep it together. It's just a memory. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> action. What action? Uh, what did I do? Uh. What did I do? Where's the door to leave the memory? Oh, well, that guy's screwed. Ah, uh. uh, where's the door? 
What is happening right now? Maybe up, oh, cave, okay, not getting up that way. Oh, and I can't go past the water either. Oh, dang it. Oh, geez, look at this guy dual wielding like a boss. <laughs> you go, dude. What am I supposed to do here? <laughs> I'm like, I just have a, I just have like a freaking bass drum going off in my, wait. Okay, no, never mind. Never mind. For a second, I thought it picked up speed and I thought maybe this was like a hot and cold situation. What did this action do? Oh. Oh! Okay, okay, so that lets me find a... another body inside the- Oh! Okay, another body inside the memory, or should I say, half a body! Yikes! Okay... Oh! Okay, and this will, I'm guessing, lead me to where the body is. Oh, there we go. Okay, so just follow the wisp. Oh. Okay, so he's below deck. Oh. Oh, boy. So this is not the body itself. This is just uh, where the body was in that memory. I assume, anyway, since this guy's not... Uh, since this guy's not bones like the rest of the corpses here. Well, let's, uh, let's give a listen to what it sounds like when a dude is ripped in half at the waist. Here we go! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jeez Louise! Oh, that is nasty. Well, let's see. Where is this guy in the picture? Okay, so he's up there and he's covered in tattoos. So that's a identifying mark I can use. Uh, doesn't exactly help me right now, but at the very least, I I can very easily identify how he died. Oh, wait, I'm back here. Wait, where's the page of the dude that was ripped in half? All right, well, when I find him, I know exactly what to punch in. So what the heck else am I trying to find here? I'm assuming that these guys next to the captain would be the, the first and second mate, right? But which one's which? Oh. Okay. Alright, we're sinking back out of the memory. Let's see. Okay, who is this? And yeah, I know exactly how they died. They were torn apart. <laughs> By a beast. As for who they are, I haven't the foggiest idea. Oh boy, yeah, no, no. Keep it together, man. Keep it together. I know you just witnessed a dude get torn in half, but it's fine. It's just a memory. Wait, no, it's just a memory. That's that's what usually traumatizes people. Um, how do I explain this? You're not here presently. Although I guess uh, to me, I'm seeing it in like this uh, black and white style. He's seeing it in basically 4K. Jeez, I'm almost afraid to see what the rest of this monster looks like. Oh no. Oh. 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 Hello? Okay, who are you now? Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. So, this- that was basically just bringing me to where he died and showing me, like, where his body, uh, would have been if I assume this guy, after he died, got dragged down to the briny deep by the freaking Kraken. Oh boy. Trying to blow. Oh! Okay. 
Okay. What the frick? Okay, so they're trying to basically blow up the monster. Oh, and there's a body in there. Oh, no. <laughs> so whoever that guy was that was laying there, he died in an explosion. Oh, Nelly. Okay, so that guy was present. That guy was present. This guy. Oh, is this guy all right? Oh, no, he's, he's bringing up guns. Well... He was bringing up guns, but he looks like he's heading straight back down below decks because that does not look like stable footing. Oh, and there's the door to leave the memory, so I know where to get back to the real world from. Okay, so they died in an explosion. But I still don't know who they were. Oh boy, I need I need some more info. Ay ay ay. <laughs> so yeah, as the other yeah, the other corpse is still there. So anytime I view whatever happened to a, to a body, it stays there for me to, I assume, go back and check later. Did I check this guy yet? I don't think I did. Abigail. Abigail, okay. Your brother, my friend, I shot him dead. Wait, is that the captain? I'll be with you soon, my love. Please forgive me for everything. He's gonna shoot himself, isn't he? Yep. Oh. Okay. Well, at the very least, we now know that this woman's name was Abigail, so we can use that. Uh, let's see. Ah, here we go. Abigail Huskut Witcherill. Okay, perfect. Abigail Hoskett Witcherill. Is there anyone with the last name Hoskett? Because the captain said, yes, William Hoskett. So yeah, he got shot. So that means... Oh, no, 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 no. This may or may not be in... may or may not be correct. I know for a fact it's not correct. I didn't mean to do that. Fates are validated in sets of three. Correctly identify at least three people and their fates to have the information typeset into the book. Okay, well, I know for a fact that that is not William. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Abigail. As for who William is, uh, let's see. Where's the... Can I go to the guy who got shot? Yeah, here we go. The first mate shot by Captain Robert Witterell. All right. Well, no, his fate's not really that unknown. Suicide by a gun. So yeah, he shot himself. Oh. Well done. Three fates correct. Oh, cool. So, Captain Witterell. And yeah, I got Abigail correct. And was clubbed by the beast. And I got the first mate correct. Cool. Okay, so I guess I have to make that whole thing go around the entire, uh, entire card, I guess would be the word to use. So yeah, that's a cool way of doing it. Like, uh, instead of having you figure out everything right off the bat, it splits it up into sets of three, and if you get three of them right, you know for a fact you got them right. Oh. What does that mean? <laughs> what do those X's mean? Oh! Okay, this is showing me where on uh, their journey this all happened. So when they were here, that's when the captain shot the first mate before shooting himself. And this is where poor old Abigail got a got a ship mast to the face. Well, seeing as we got one of the sets correct, I'd say that's a good place to cut the episode. And yeah, I think I'm going to uh, I think I'm going to enjoy this one. <laughs> This is a really cool concept and so far is really well done. And yeah, I'm definitely going to see if I can get through this whole thing and like deduce the entire story of what happened here. But for now, we shall cut the episode here. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to hit that like button down below and to share this video with your friends. And until next time, you all have yourselves a good day. See ya!
Let's 